this slightly different video where we will be talking about should you be learning Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5. Now everyone is hyped and intrigued by the release of Unreal Engine 5 and rightly so. It brings about some amazing tools and features that will change the game development scene forever. The main point I want to make in this video though is this. Don't feel like learning Unreal Engine 4 is a waste or a bad thing now that Unreal Engine 5 is nearing on the horizon. Many, although not all, skills and things you learn in Unreal Engine 4 will work the same or similar in Unreal Engine 5. With this in mind, however, this channel will try its best to make sure that any and all Unreal Engine 4 tutorials moving forward will cover sub such subjects that are still beneficial knowledge for the day that Unreal Engine 5 has arrived in a production ready capacity. Nothing taught here will be obsolete. Unreal Engine 5 is still in early access, meaning that it can be unstable, have problems and should not be used to create games that you plan to finish. Simply because it is not in the state of production yet, which will happen in early 2022. So let us cover some things that are going to be happening or coming in Unreal Engine 5. The UI. Some differences exist here, but should generally be the same. Learning one or the other will of course make it a little bit harder to find a specific thing in the other engine that you're used to, but the user interfaces of the different engines are so similar, teaching it in either engine should hopefully be close enough for you to be able to find whatever you need. Next up we have Nanite. High polygon geometry that can be used without much performance loss. This sounds amazing. This is because it automatically does some things like creating LODs or levels of detail, which you normally defined in geometry before to make them reduce in quality over distance. So if you had a tree, it would become more and more blurry or less detailed the further it was away. This will be a simple checkbox in Unreal Engine 5 to activate. So it's very easy to activate and because of this, LODs will become obsolete and will not be covered in tutorials here. Lumen. Lighting that allows you for photorealistic lighting in conjunction with the sky atmosphere system brings about new levels of realism in lighting. This is however more or less a few settings that you need to activate in Unreal Engine 5, so not something that requires a lot of tutorials. More like a handy feature you get as a bonus. Quixel Bridge already exists today. The difference is just that in Unreal Engine 5 it will be more integrated, allowing for easier access to the content made by Quixel. So all Quixel related knowledge will be more or less just as relevant today as it will be when Unreal Engine 5 arrives. Mega Assemblies, a special kind of asset that Quixel has made available. While not as useful in Unreal Engine 4 as in Unreal Engine 5, because Unreal Engine 4 can't bring to bear the might of Nanite, which will allow you to have much more densely packed geometry, it is something that is most likely going to be useful only for Unreal Engine developments. World Partition replaces streaming levels, allowing for parts or groups of areas of the map to be loaded upon need. So streaming levels bec will become more or less obsolete and will not be subject to be covered on this channel. Instead, tutorials on this subject will be covering world partitions from Unreal Engine 5 instead. Full Body Solver. A faster and more advanced functionality to work with your character to do things like inverse or forward kinematics. This builds upon the control rig already existing in Unreal Engine 4 today. So that means learning control rig in Unreal Engine 4 will be useful for Unreal Engine 5 as well. Control rig is also used to create animations inside of Unreal Engine, which is possible already in Unreal Engine 4 today. Game feature plugins. The ability to encapsulate features and assets as sort of DLC or downloadable content is a new feature in Unreal Engine 5 and there is no equivalent in Unreal Engine 4 as of right now. So there is nothing to replace, this is just a nice new feature available in Unreal Engine 5. 
Animation Motion Warping. This advanced system for altering animations in runtime builds upon things like animations, animation notifications, and blueprints to adapt animations on the fly. All of these things are useful things to learn and know in Unreal Engine 4 to bring forward to Unreal Engine 5 with their enhanced capabilities in the future. Metasounds. This new and powerful tool, similar to the material editor today, allows for unprecedented control for a developer to create synthesized audio. This is a new tool available in Unreal Engine 5, will be replacing the existing audio tools in Unreal Engine 4, so any audio tutorials in Unreal Engine 4 will not be covered and we will only be doing Unreal Engine 5 audio tutorials. You, the viewer, will be the one to shape the content here. Based on your feedback, the frequency and the content of the tutorials moving forward will be influenced by your wishes. I hope you will stay for the journey ahead. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.